Okay, we're using Checkpoint today to look up revenue rulings. Okay, so I've got a list of revenue rulings I have to look up They're right here. I've got them in here with this abbreviation Rev Rule 77438, which is pretty common. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to plug that into Checkpoint in the search box. Let's see how good of a job it does with its famously difficult searching feature. Okay, so again, Checkpoint has weird and very bad ranking. Of results when they come back. All these things that have nothing to do, or, or they, they're mentioned. The thing that should rank highest on the list does not come up first a lot of times, which is very strange. So you look here and say, oh gosh, what's this? This isn't what I'm looking for. They don't have it. But if you keep looking down the list, there it is, all the way down there. Rev Rule 77438. So you scroll past all this stuff. It's really weird with Checkpoint. It's so strange. There it is right there. There's the revenue ruling, okay? And that's that's the right thing. Click on this. Um, it's hard to save these links anywhere without them expiring. What I would do is click right here for export. That went quickly. Click here, export. Put it on a PDF. I would export it as a PDF and save it somewhere. That's what I would do. Okay, let's go back. So the search box worked okay on that, which sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't in Checkpoint. Another way you could do it if you wanted to go directly to the source, you could click Quick Links. And let's see, what are we looking at here? We're looking at revenue rulings. Okay, so I would go to Federal Rulings, Find Federal Rulings. There's Revenue Ruling right there. I'm going to put this in there. Now, it doesn't want you to have Rev Rule if you're going to go this route. Since you're just searching revenue rulings, it just wants that number to a search. And it comes right up. Okay. And that's kind of convenient to search that way. Again, if you want to export it, there's the export button right there. Turn it into a PDF. Save it very easily somewhere. I'm going to go back here. So again, I have a list of them to look up today. So I would just copy the next number I'm looking for. I don't need revenue ruling or rev rule. I'm going to leave it on this, which let me show you how I got there again from the beginning. I bypassed the search box. I went to Quick Links, Find Federal Rulings. Revenue Rulings is right there. I put this in just the number, Search, and there it is right there. Okay, so th there's another way to search. I'll show it to you as well. You, you won't really need this, but if this is having problems or whatever, on this page, when you get to this revenue page, you can go here to More. And see all of their sources individually. You could scroll down to revenue rulings and you could search right here. It looks a little different, the same thing, just those numbers. Don't type in rev rule or revenue ruling. And there it is. So I, I probably wouldn't recommend <laughs> going that far for it. I, I would, I tend to not trust their search box. So <laughs> I did find it. I did find it the first time with my typed in like that. I did find it with a little scrolling. So with Checkpoint, you have to search and then you have to search through their results, which is really weird. And sometimes this happens where it just locks up on you. So I'll go back here. I'm going to run that search again. Put in, since I'm just going from the search box here, I'll do rev rule. Search it again. Hopefully it works better this time. Yeah, now it works. It's Checkpoint does that a lot. Just go back and do it again. It's yikes. Doesn't come up first, of course. And see, that looks like it is 2000, but that's uh, annotation. Okay. We're looking for revenue ruling 2014-32. And look at all these other ones that could be it. Revenue procedure. See that? I don't like using their search box. It's too tricky. So what I would do, I would go here to Quick Links. I would go to here, Rulings. And then under Revenue Rulings, I'd put in that number. And there you go. And then to save this somewhere, what I would do is click this little Export button, and I would export it as a PDF. Okay, there you go.